Merhaba, hoş geldiniz. Bu... Hello everyone, this presentation will be in English, but I wanted to start first in Turkish because this is my own country and I must stop seeing that photo. Now I go to... Turkish ambassador of see that photo here in Istanbul and I'll try to explain what we are doing and what we can contribute to the NFT photography society in the world. So, as you can see, see that photo is an NFT photo photograph space. And when you talk about photography, it's about art. And art makes reality bearable, according to Nietzsche. Actually, this quote is mentioned in many other philosophers and thinkers, but we chose Nietzsche because as a proponent of facial hair, look at that mustache. So this guy does this, so it should be true. So we move on. So we, we are a platform designed specifically for photographers by photographers. This means that when we made the platform, it was for photographers, for photographers' needs. So when you are in the industry, you know what are the shortcomings are. So we are trying to mitigate them all and make this a very seamless process for the collectors and the photographers. So what's an artistic work? You see Mona Lisa, it's an artistic work. All of, the, all of you know this. But the issue is, the only reason this is an artistic work is not because of the artist, it's because of the eyes that it, it sees it. In the end, when you produce art and you cannot reach it to the people that will appreciate it, it's for nothing. When you see Mona Lisa, you know it because everybody knows it. It's the same for every type of artistic work. So, let's move. So another perfect mustache guy, James Mister says, an artist is not paid for his labor, but for, for his vision. So art is not about the tools that you use. It's not about the camera that you use. It's not about that perfect lens you bought while you sp spend a lot of money. It's about your vision. It's, sort of, it's about your imagination. It's about your eye. It's not just for photography. Any type of art, it's all about the artist's vision. So when you have an artist, with a vision, with a product, and that art cannot reach you, it's for nothing. It's the general idea for everything. If you produce something, people should see it. So the photography starts in the early 1800s. You all seen those long exposure photos everybody, where everybody looks like they're dead. Now, thankfully for the digital camera, now we can take a lot of photos, a lot of different angles, and you can just delete the ones that you don't like. But not every photo is art. In the end, art is about vision and the artist. So, this is the first digital photography. This was a scan of Russell Kirsch. It's his son. He scanned the photo, an analog photo of his, and made it digital. And that makes photography the mother of digital art. And we, like every mother that we have, the mother has an issue. The main issue you have is what? This is an industry, and this industry faces a critical challenge. And the critical challenge is photography infringement. The main issue with the photography in digital age is you take a photo, you get it on the internet, and it's not yours anymore. As long as you don't have your signature on it, or as long as you don't have any, any chance to control it, it's gone. It can be copied sold again without your knowing. So photography infringement is the main issue. And we are trying to provide a solution for that. And the main solution for us is see that photo because we are a photography NFT platform. The name suggests it all. So when you use us, it means that your photography is saved somehow from copyright infringement. It's not all but it will be there. So this is a start. So let's talk about the value of photographic assets for digital art industry and the art collectors. So as an artist, when you have your photo and you mint it on a blockchain and add it to a platform, when, when you try to show it to the collectors, the value is not just about the price tag. It's about appreciation of the art because the main idea of the art is the artist should have someone backing them up. If you like a person's art, there are many ways to support it. One of them is to buy it if you have the means. 
The other one is to follow him or her. Or another way can be just talking about that person. Because the artist needs some food to carry on providing art. So you, if you like an artist's work, you need to support it. That's the main idea. So when you think about collecting art is a way to invest in yourself and your future. So when you think about art, people usually think about paintings. And you know how paintings work. Uh, you just buy it when the guy is alive and when he's dead, it makes money and you are fine. It's the same idea with photography because the main issue with photography is it's like the black sheep of the art industry because when you have a painting, you feel like the, there's a labor behind it, there's an idea behind it. It's the same fo way for photography because you can just go ahead, go to the place, one of the most famous photographs that you've ever seen and try to take the same thing. It will not be the same because there's an artist between that. If you are an artist, you'll have another eye. But that famous photo that you see is not just a square. So this intellectual property rights for photographers is supported by us, and I will explain how it goes on. But the idea is, if you are consuming art without supporting this intellectual property rights for photographers or any artist that you are consuming, there's a great chance that you will not be able to consume it anymore because it will be gone. Let's talk about an analogy of ownership. So if I come to you and tell you I'll have a, I have a piece of pro land in Dubai or in Istanbul, and I'm giving it to you, just do whatever with it, and you start building your project, and say in six months the project is half done, and we have a fight. Say you try to share my food. I never share my food. And I say, OK, just get out. You have to get out, because you don't have to title deed. If you have the title deed, even if you try to share my food, the land is yours and you can use it. But if you don't have it, you can lose it anytime. So this title deed can be provided by the blockchain technology over NFTs and we are the place to do it. So now there's another issue in the art world. This AI machines will create digital art for you. But as I said before, Art is only done from the artist's vision. You cannot just take a machine and create art. You just create a mumbo jumbo of the art that was produced before. And but you have, you can say, I want Michael Jordan riding on a monkey going to Mars. You can have that photo. But the issue is that's not art. That's just collage of things that was done before. So the difference between AI art and the genuine art is the human element in between. So what we think is AI will fade out worthless NFTs, which means AI will, will work both ways. One, to produce mambo jumbo, and the second one, it will just fade it out because this AI in the future will see if the art is genuine or not. But as a platform, we are not against AI because we use it in our platform, but not to produce art. We are using AI for the artist to make description for their photos. Because in our platform, we have the one of the most strongest, let's say, KYC procedures. Now you'll say when you have KYC, it shouldn't be decentralized. It's not, because we have to know who the artist is to know the art is genuine. That's the issue. So we only collect and showcase genuine art true KYC and our history checks and our award checks, we know that anyone that is exhibiting their art in our platform is a genuine artist. <coughs> so our goal is to establish ourselves as leading authority in photography in the digital area. What does that mean? For me personally, if in the next two years, a photographer goes to a convention and says, I photographer it means something that is the goal so that's what we are aiming for so or one of our strongest suit is we have our dedicated IPFS so IPFS is to way to share and store data you can have it shared or dedicated when you have it dedicated it's yours when it's shared it's rented the on the main reason we lose NFTs is people use 
shared IPFS, but we have only dedicated. So I'm going a little bit faster because the time is going on. I will again. Here is our NFT title. When you procure an NFT from our platform, this is this is what you can download. And when you want to exchange it with someone else, you can use that too. So we are generally zero cost for the artist because when they come in and mint their photos in our uh, platform, they are rebated by seed tokens since our platform can only be accessed through wallets, MetaMask, and whatever you spend on gas fees, you'll get back as seed tokens and go back to your wallet and exchange it with whatever crypto you want. So that's the thing I was explaining. It's, you can swap it. And we have multi-chain support. We, you can do it through BNB chain, Ethereum, or Polygon. So the artist is free over there. And we have a chat function. Since our uh, platform can be accessed through wallets, whoever is in chat and you are talking to, you know that the person is genuine. And whenever the guy comes back and see his chats from back then, he can just access it. Again, this is one new thing I have to explain, but time, my time is running out, so I'll be a bit faster. And we have a museum thing that's going on where you can seed your, when, where you can stake your NFTs, where you will just buy an NFT for, say, 10 BNB, and if you borrow it back to our museum, you'll get 20% almost of it instantly back, and we'll use the NFT that you have in the worldwide galleries that we are promoting ourselves. So we promote, promote photographers world, worldwide through our galleries, the physical ones, because since we, we are not just NFT and we are not just for digital, we can go physical also. We did this in Istanbul, in Milan before, and in the next year, every quarter, we'll have, have another one in another city. So we'll have articles and news agencies and social media, which is just marketing for everyone. So we have paid marketing options for the artists, which means you can share your income with the platform and the platform will do your marketing for free because everybody knows even if you produce life, if you cannot market it, you will not be able to sell anything. And we have exclusive projects for our artists where we collaborate together with a vision. They do their art, we do the marketing. So we are the most exclusive photography NFT marketplace. So, and this I explained again. And just, this is what we are imagining, where intellectual property rights are better protected than now. So I was a bit faster in the last part because this was a 15 minute presentation. So we'll drop to 10. Thank you for listening and have a good day.